Cyanide is one of the most commonly used poisons, both in reality and also in fiction. What actually is it and why is it so dangerous? Well, cyanide is a chemical formed from a carbon atom that is triple bonded to a nitrogen atom. However, the cyanide is often then bonded to another element like sodium, potassium or hydrogen. These cyanide compounds and their precursors are fairly common and can be produced in bacteria, fungi and a lot of plants. Many cyanide compounds inhibit the action of a vital enzyme in the cells that are used in the aerobic release of energy. In humans, this means it can stop the operation of the central nervous system and the heart, which of course can result in death. There are antidotes to cyanide which bind to the cyanide in the body, meaning that the combined chemical can then just be flushed from the body. Plants that produce the cyanide often store it in the seeds of the plant as well as other key growing locations. So why do plants produce cyanide? Well, cyanogenic compounds don't have the negative effect on plants that it does in most other animals. So producing and storing forms of cyanide isn't really a problem for the plant. To find out why the plants are producing cyanide it might actually help us to look at two common places where significant sources of cyanide are found. Those are in apple seeds and in bamboo. Starting with the first, apple seeds don't actually contain cyanide, but instead contain large amounts of amygdalin. This is a chemical which, when chewed and digested, is converted into hydrogen cyanide, which is highly dangerous. So while the apple seeds can be dangerous, they're perfectly harmless if they stay intact whilst passing through the digestive system. This amygdalin can be found in many seeds, including apricots, plums and peaches. But the name comes from the Greek for almond, and it's bitter almonds which contain large amounts of amygdalin not the regular almonds, though the two are related. And it's the aroma of bitter almonds which is associated with the smell of hydrogen cyanide, which only some people can actually be able to detect. The concentration of the middle in apple seeds means that you'll probably have to completely digest over 200 apple seeds to obtain a fatal dose of cyanide. So why are apples forming this cyanogenic glycoside in their seeds? Well, it isn't to stop animals eating the seed, so the plant is actually quite happy for the seeds to pass through the digestive system of the animals and end up, hours later, in a different location, being excreted and deposited in a pile of feces. This means the seed has a considerable advantage in the chance of surviving to an adult plant. Instead, what the apple seed is actually trying to discourage is that any animal that's actually attempting to break open the seed and get to the potentially nutritious material inside the seed. Any animal deciding to dine on too many seeds, rather than just the edible layer around the seed, will soon find themselves feeling rather ill. What about bamboo? Well, raw or uncooked bamboo, and especially the shoots of the bamboo, again contains cyanogenic glycosides, which when eaten are transformed into hydrogen cyanide, which of course is a major issue for any of the creatures like giant pandas, which eat bamboo as a major part of their diet. However, the giant pandas have a neat chemical trick going on in their bodies. To avoid cyanide poisoning, the pandas produce rhodonase, which is a mitochondrial enzyme which converts cyanide into thiocyanate, which then can be simply excreted from the body. Now, giant pandas are not the only animal to do this, as rabbits and many other herbivores can also make use of this chemical reaction to detoxify their food. However, the giant pandas were, until relatively recently, carnivores, not herbivores, so they actually had to adapt fairly rapidly to combat the cyanide in order to be able to eat substantial amounts of bamboo. Even with this chemical reaction, however, the pandas are still receiving a significant dose of cyanide from their diet, so the sleepy, confused image we have of pandas may just be they're actually suffering from cyanide poisoning. The reason for bamboo producing the cyanogenic glycosides does appear to be form of chemical warfare going on between the bamboo and the pandas, with the bamboo trying to make itself as unpalatable as possible to the panda, and the pandas trying to cope with the cyanide being produced as they eat the bamboo. However, the toxic nature of bamboo isn't just an issue for pandas, as many humans also like to eat bamboo shoots, which can contain some substantial amounts of the cyanogenic glucosides. So in order to prevent cyanide poisoning from eating bamboo shoots, they need to be properly cooked before eating, and eating raw bamboo shoots should be avoided completely.